through sports, through training, through failures, through ups and downs of life, you discover who you are and what you're made of. So the paradise is the more stress and problems you have, usually, typically, you get you better because it brings that, that goodness out of you, that positivity. I was mainly running on roads and then I went, did a couple of off-road races um, and then I went towards ultra marathons and it's really interesting, it's really fun. Uh, you discover a lot about yourself. Um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, let's see where it takes me. Take us with you on that experience of setting the Guinness World Record when you crossed uh, from south to north in just 204 kilometers um, in a wheelchair in only 41 hours, 55 minutes, breaking the previous record by a French runner of only 47 hours. So how was that like? Well, it was really good. It was... Uh... Okay, so a, back, a little bit of backstory. So in 2020, uh, around this time in June, my friend Nasruddin, he uh, was a runner and he did the, the, the crossing of north to south. And I'm like, okay, I want to do that. And I'm, I put myself a target to do it within one year. So I'm like, within a year, I'll do it, inshallah. And um, he did it, he did it, but he did a different route. He did it like a little bit less than 30 hours, but he didn't do it for Guinness. He just like, I'm going to do it. And I, I wasn't sure if I could do it. I felt I could, but I wasn't sure because you never know on the day of a previous, um, runner try to do it and I forgot when it was I think it was maybe January or maybe February and because of an injury he couldn't complete it despite being a very accomplished athlete I'm like okay you got to put into account these things that are unpredictable you might be sick you might uh, have environmental prevention like on the last day was like Mindy um, I think the winds got up to like 30 40 kilometers an hour which is very very bad for like for me because it's, it's not only pushing the wheelchair, you're pushing against the wall, constant wall. So uh, let's say my average pace, I don't know, let's say it was like seven minutes per kilometer. It turned out to like 12, 13 minutes. So almost double the time. Um, but it felt good to be able to beat an able-bodied runner at the same time, to be able to set a record as the first, uh, first uh, para-athlete or uh, adapted athlete. It was a goal to be able to uh, to compete against an able-bodied runner in a, in a, in a set, kind of like environment so also like a part of it is um, I don't have people too many people that are individuals with disability like doing also a marathon so my comp my competition is not there in terms of just like adapted athletes so I'm kind of pushing the boundaries and wanting to go further and pushing myself and pushing others of what perception of what is capable with being in a wheelchair so in one of your past interviews, you said uh, sports teaches you about your own boundaries and that sport is a control failure. And reading that, like it really stuck with me. Sport is a uh, controlled failure. So how do you accept your failure in sport? Like how do you come in terms of it? Okay, this is what my body is able to do. How can we work with that? Uh, in terms of like part of the question was like, what, this is what our body can do. I don't think we really know what our body can do. Or what's what capacity is within us? Because um, human body doesn't have like a battery and it shows you how much power you have. Human body doesn't show you how much. Not only in terms of capacity of power, but the power itself in terms of physical effort that you can exert. There's some people they go into something they think they need to be damaged, they need to be hurt by it. I finished my 200k. I only had a small blister here. That's all. A lot of body pain and aches, but in terms of physical damage, it's only blisters. So, I mean, you don't, you don't have to hurt yourself in the process. And I think it's silly to, to want to do that. No, that's right. Because you have to go on living after that. <laughs>